Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop, and today I'm going to show you how I made these 10 fun projects with a scroll saw. I've got some bench top saw horses, a clock, a beer tote, a phone stand, tablet stand, and laptop stand, a basket, a biplane, a hammerhead shark, and this funky lamp that I made with a free Harbor Freight flashlight. These projects are really easy to make, and most of them you can make in less than an hour. So if you have a scroll saw that's collecting dust, get it out, dust it off, and see if these projects are something you might like to try. I've compiled all of my cutting templates into an ebook that I'm making available for purchase over on my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com. I designed all of the cutting templates for these projects based on wood that's readily accessible to a lot of people through the Big Orange Store. I went out and got some of this inexpensive lightweight plywood that they call sandy ply that will work great for these small projects. The quarter inch is actually 0 0.207 inches thick. The half inch is 0 0.472 inches thick. And for the shark, I just used a regular 1x12 that's 0.75 inches thick. So whether you use the same plywood I used or you use Baltic birch or something different or even solid wood, what you want to do is make sure to measure the thickness of the wood and you might have to adjust the width of the slots in my cutting templates so that when you cut everything out all the projects fit together well. The key to making sure all the parts of these projects fit together well is to cut some test pieces from the actual wood that you're using. In my ebook I've included some templates for these test pieces and what I suggest is that you cut the first slot inside the line on the template the second slot on the line and the third slot outside the line and make sure you label those and then see which one fits best. In my case I figured out that if I cut on the line when I'm cutting the slots on the template it fits really well. So that tells me for all ten of these projects when I'm cutting the mating slots I need to make sure I cut on the line. All of these projects have interlocking joints that simply slide together to assemble the project. So it's important when you're cutting out your pieces to follow the line carefully, especially where the pieces mate. Alright, let's get started. Project number one is a simple phone stand made out of quarter inch plywood. The phone stand will hold your phone vertically or horizontally and you can flip it around to the other side for a different angle. Project 2 is a tablet stand made out of quarter inch plywood. The tablet stand is designed to hold the tablet at two different angles. You might have to reduce or enlarge the template based on the size of your tablet. In this case, it'll hold a small tablet this way, that way, and you can even flip it around and put it that way to hold the tablet at a different angle. Project number three is a laptop stand made out of half inch plywood. I designed the laptop stand to fit my 17 inch laptop. If you have a smaller laptop, you might have to adjust the lengths of the pieces. Other than that, it works great. It's nice and sturdy. You can take it apart and put it in a laptop bag. And it also has lots of ventilation underneath. Project four is a 14 inch round basket made out of quarter inch plywood. Well, this basket turned out looking pretty cool. It'd make a great centerpiece for a table or something with flowers in it. Uh, since it is quarter inch plywood, I wouldn't put anything really heavy in it though. Uh, you could also turn it over and use it as a display stand or something. Just another idea. Uh, this is probably a good example of one of these that you might want to glue together uh, because it could come apart easily. Project number five is a desk clock made out of half inch plywood.
This clock has kind of an art deco look to it, and I like how the two different sized boards create kind of a 3D shadow effect. It uses a two and three quarter inch clock insert, and look at that, it's lunchtime. Project number six is a beer tote made out of a combination of quarter inch and half inch plywood. This beer tote was an experiment with using some through mortises and tenons, and they all worked out well. Uh, this would make a great gift. You could take it to a picnic or barbecue, and when you're done with it, you could just collapse the whole thing and throw it in a bag or a basket and go. Uh, since it might get wet, you probably want to apply a finish to it. And just remember, any of these projects, if you apply a finish or paint, that could affect the fit. It might get tighter after you finish it. Hi, my name is Steve, and I'm addicted to free flashlight coupons from Harbor Freight. Project number seven is a lamp made from quarter inch plywood, and it uses one of these as its light source. So I'm sure I'm not the only one out there who has a pile of these free flashlights. If you don't have access to a Harbor Freight, then any flashlight with a one inch diameter will work with this design. I've been thinking about coming up with a bunch of other projects that use these flashlights as well. Uh, this lamp is pretty cool. It holds your flashlight. You can take it out if you need it. And also, uh, this design lends itself well to displaying something like your favorite shot glass. Project number eight is a biplane made from a combination of quarter inch and half inch plywood. This biplane turned out to be pretty cool. It reminds me of those balsa wood airplanes I used to play with as a kid. I just attached the prop with a roofing nail. Project number nine is a pair of bench top sawhorses made from half inch plywood. These bench top sawhorses can come in real handy whenever you need to raise a project off the bench for clamping or finishing. Now I'm going to turn this 1x12 into a 3 foot hammerhead shark. For the last project, I wanted to do an animal and I wanted to do something larger with more pieces, so I came up with this hammerhead shark. Uh, designing this was a challenge, getting all of the pieces to fit together with the body, the fins, the whole spine that runs through the thing, and the tail, and I even had to make a couple of stands to stand it up on. But I'm really pleased with how this turns out, and it actually looks like a hammerhead shark. Oh, and I glued on some knots for the eyes. All 10 of these projects are a lot of fun to make and the shark turned out pretty cool. But my favorite ones are the lamp that uses the flashlight, 
I also like the looks of this clock and my favorite one I think is the biplane. So let me know in the comments below which one of these projects you like the best. Maybe give me your top three. I'd appreciate the feedback. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me build all 10 of these projects. I had a fun time designing and making them, and I hope they give you some ideas on projects that you can make with your scroll saw. In total, I used about a quarter sheet of quarter inch plywood, a quarter sheet of half inch plywood, and about five or six feet of that one by 12. And don't forget, if you'd like to make some of these projects yourself, head over to my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com where you can purchase the full ebook with all the cutting templates for all 10 of these projects. The next time you're at my website, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter so you can get my content delivered straight to your inbox. I'd like to thank all of you who have already signed up for my newsletter and all of you who have subscribed and have been watching my videos for a long time. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more fun project videos like this one. And go back and check out my previous videos that you may have missed. Don't forget to follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where I post project updates and photos periodically. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.